Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Happy New Year! My name is Cynthia and I'm so excited to be sharing finally a video for the new year. Um, today's video, don't you worry, <laughs> my process will still be an overhead recording. I just thought I'd show you a little bit more about my process on how I get ready to journal, um, whether it's for filming or just when I'm journaling on my own time. And uh, in this journal, I actually decided to grab a bag and put a ton of ephemera that I thought would go well with the theme of the journal. And I decided to try and stick to those pieces. Now, obviously, if nothing that I've picked out for myself in the beginning speaks to me, I don't feel like I can't grab from another pile, but I really wanted to see if I would be able to move through some of my ephemera that way. So you see me here playing around with different pieces, going through my little pile and trying to decide what I'll be using for my next spread. The spread that I have opened in my journal is my first spread of the year. I did share uh, some pictures over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, I definitely um, encourage you to go check it out. I'm quite active on there and um, I typically post some pictures of uh, spreads that I don't have the time to record. I really wanted to use this beautiful tag that I got in the mail from Gabriella from Penny and Rose Papery. Uh, it was from one of her inspo packs. I believe it was the December one. Um, and it's just so beautiful. <laughs> but I didn't end up using it. So you'll see me throughout this spread trying to make it work. And you know, sometimes when something feels a little bit too special, we struggle to use it. Well, I think that's what happened to me there. <laughs> I really wanted to use it, but it just didn't seem like it was fitting perfectly. And because I find it so beautiful, I really just wanted it to, um, to be perfect for when I use it. So I'm trying to pick some elements that um, will spark a little bit of, uh, I guess, uh, a subject for me to journal about. I went into this journaling session not really knowing what I was going to be journaling about and um, I figured that perhaps the ephemera could inspire me to find something to write about. I haven't really been, I mean I journaled that one time since December daily but I journaled so much during December that I felt a little bit saturated and uh, I took some time away from it, which I think is kind of a healthy thing to do once in a while, you know, um, just to keep things kind of organic and not force yourself to as well. Uh, so here I'm done going through my little pile and I'm just gonna be grabbing a few more pieces of paper before I can start assembling and figuring out how um, I want to create. I'm also going to be picking out my pages before I start um, doing my spread. I really hope that you guys are doing well, that you had a good holiday time. It was, um, it was very quiet of course here, but it was good. I mean, as good as it could possibly be. Um, it's, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive and I know that um, it's, it's a challenging time for many of us. So I know that I'm not alone in struggling with um, the simple fact that I haven't seen my family in over a year now, but it's, it's what it is. And I'm so grateful that I have my husband and that at least I'm not, I'm not living alone because I really feel for those uh, who are single and unable to uh, see people on a daily basis. Um, so if that's you, you know, feel free to reach out. And uh, like I said, I'm really present on Instagram. So my um, direct messaging is always open. Here you see me just trying to figure out which pages I'll use and this here is the page that I do settle on using. Mm -hmm. 
as I often do, I'm just prompting my journal with um, a few cue cards just so that it uh, is a little bit more leveled and easier to work in. And I'm just using a paper clip to uh, secure some of these pages so that they're not as fluffy. I've been adding a lot of fabrics in this journal, so it's bulked up quite, f um, quite fast, but I don't mind the bulk. I just am trying to work around it. <laughs> And here you can see some of the other papers that I have selected and um, that I know that I have available to use if I need. Now you can see a better look at the pages that I've selected. To the left is a tea stained paper, to the right is a cabbage stained paper, and uh, there's also a page from a book. And I'm just showing you a little bit more of that beautiful tag. It just feels like such a little treasure. So I really struggled and didn't end up using it. <laughs> But that's okay, I know I'll use it in a different spread or in a project. Because I haven't journaled in a little bit now, I feel a little bit out of it. Um, like I don't know where to start perhaps. But I grabbed this image and tried to see if that was going to be working for me and trying to see perhaps where I would perhaps that could be a starting point. Um, I also grabbed this really beautiful printable. It's from Ruby and Pearl XO and I'm actually going to start going ahead with the printable first and find a place for that on the page. So I'm just using my ruler to rip the paper because I just want to use that uh, part on the right with the really beautiful drawing of the flowers and I'm just trying to figure out where I'll be placing that um, in the spread. I hope that you were able to celebrate the new year in some way, you know. <laughs> It's a new year, but I didn't set any goals really for myself because we just don't know what's in store for us and um, we're already starting with a bit of a rough, <laughs> a rough time already. So I wanted to make sure that I was being very realistic with myself. I really hope that you guys are staying gentle with yourselves and remembering that we are going through very uncertain times and there's just so much happening and you know it's okay to to be gentle with yourself and to to have some realistic expectations i also wanted to mention i've over the past little while i've had a um, few comments about my handwriting and perhaps doing a video about my handwriting and Although I, I find it very flattering and I thank you so much for those of you who have um, commented on my handwriting, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's just the way that I write, so I wouldn't really know um, how to talk about it or what to say about it. I truly, I mean, I, th I have documents that I've written on that way like 10 years ago, so I don't really know um perhaps i can do some research on how to <laughs> develop the handwriting or i don't know but if you have more specific comments on that on what you would like to know about my handwriting i'd be happy to to try and answer to my best of abilities so here i just grab my glue stick and i am securing uh, that printable down onto the book page 
and just using my little tool here to make sure that it's laying flat. I'm tearing a piece of a handmade paper from Heather from Rose Hill Paper Cottage and I'm just going to be using my glue stick again to, to glue that down. And just pressing that to make sure that it's adhered properly. I really hope my voice is sounding okay. I'm recording this very early in the morning. I, <laughs> I've been uh, having some problems with my sleep, so I, uh, I thought I would put my awake time to use. So here I'm just going back and forth again, trying to figure out how I'm going to use this tag, where I can use it. Um, but it's, I don't know yet, so I'm just going to move forward to a different element and I've grabbed this really pretty uh, printable. It's a French document printable, like a French ledger of some sort, um, like a receipt. And that one is from Dust of Roses. And those are really my favorite ones to use uh, because I can use it the way that I am about to use it or just as full pages. And um, I recently did a Q&A on my Instagram and somebody asked me my favorite supply for journaling and truly it is printables because you can use them as many times as you wish and create so many things with them. So um, what I'm trying to do here is just cut my paper into a square because I'll be making an envelope with it but I am the worst person with anything that revolves around numbers um, and even though I mean cutting a square should really be quite simple I somehow often mess it up so <laughs> I didn't this time around thankfully <laughs> but um, if that also happens to you I, I feel for you <laughs> I'm here too and I'm just pulling it. I'm trying to make it as straight as uh, as possible. Um, again, I'm not measuring anything, so I'm just kind of going with my eyes. I place the paper uh, on that p on the page, and I'm using that as a reference on what is straight. So it turned out pretty good for me here, thankfully. But even if it was a little bit crooked, I don't I don't really mind uh, imperfection in my own journal. Now that I'm done folding it, I'm just taking a quick look at where I might want to add it to the page, but I will be embellishing this envelope. Uh, I'll be grabbing a, another piece of that uh, embossed paper and as well as a um, little piece of uh, like a chiffon uh, ribbon and I'm just very very excited my mother-in-law has lended me her sewing machine so i have been having so much fun just trying to uh, discover sewing and just making all the ephemera that i have been longing to make and seeing other creators make and always feeling like oh i wish i could add that little little extra bit of texture with the sewing and now that I can do that I'm just so excited <laughs> and so thankful to be able to to experiment with that so I'll be um, sewing the piece of fabric onto the handmade paper and then gluing that onto the envelope
I also wanted to take a moment to thank all of you who followed my December daily uh, series. You know, it meant so much to me to know that you guys enjoyed it and it was so much fun to record. Although it was a lot of work. <laughs> I was waking up super early in the morning trying to squeeze in just enough time to record and then I had to, of course, um, edit the videos on that same day but it was well worth it I really enjoyed it and uh, I would certainly consider doing that again next year if if my situation allows it here you can see I put some glue on the two extremities of that piece of a handmade embossed paper and uh, I used some wet, wet glue for this just to be sure that it would be um, very well adhered onto there. I put way too much glue and <laughs> I'm just rubbing that off with my finger. And to uh, shut the whole thing together, I'm just going to use my glue stick. I'm not too concerned uh, as it is for my own journal, but you could certainly use some double-sided tape or uh, some wet glue as well. You could certainly add a really pretty pattern on the inside as well, or just use a sheet that has been double-sided print, uh, double printed. Um, but this is what I used and, and that's okay with me. So I'm just playing around with it a little bit more, trying to figure out uh, if this is where I want it to be, but ultimately it is where I chose to, to glue it. And to glue that onto the page, I am also going to be using some wet glue. Now I'm going back to that image and while well, I'm sliding the a couple of little thank you notes that I have into that envelope and I'm kind of deciding that uh, perhaps I don't want to use that image and I resort back to the first image that I used um, which has a little lady and men dancing on there and it's just very dreamy and then that sparked the whole um, idea on what I would be journaling about. Um, I just felt like the printable I had used from Ruby and Pearl was so romantic and this image seemed very romantic as well, but because they are dancing, I actually ended up journaling about the thoughts dancing through my mind. Um, and it's all related to creation and how it feels good to be back uh, in journaling and uh, I've been I haven't been journaling but I have been creating journals so I've I have been doing a, a lot of um, work on the side which I'm really excited to share with all of you um, I would say probably maybe next month they'll be ready um, hopefully <laughs> we'll see but um, I'll be sure to uh, to let all of you know when they are ready. But for now, I'm just applying a little bit of some wider washi tape that I have ripped and sticking that onto the page to kind of frame the image. But I do feel like something is missing and I, I want to have something on the other side of that image as well, so to the right. Um, but first I'm going to be putting another piece of washi tape at the bottom of the page to kind of make things flow a little bit better. And I'll be using some glue. Um, sometimes I find when I 
tear my washi tape. It uh, only one of the side will have the um, the adhere adhesive part, so I have to add a little bit of glue. But otherwise, that tape is very sticky. So here I'm just selecting some papers that are in the color family that I'd like to use, but. Ultimately, I thought that the music sheet would make a lot more sense since they are dancing. <laughs> so it felt a little bit more romantic and um, cohesive in theme. So here I'm trying to uh, decide on where I will be placing that image onto the sheet of music um, and tearing the piece of paper um, accordingly so and just getting rid of the edges so that I have a ripped edge. just grabbed a piece of a vintage wall wallpaper uh, this is also from Ruby and Pearl like so as always I will have all the information on where I get my ephemera listed down below and uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place the wallpaper onto the page and I'm just going to be using my glue stick to secure that on there
I felt like there might be just a little something missing um, and I grabbed this playing card but it didn't quite fit in um, but I did, did decide to use those little embroidered flowers and I glued those with some wet glue and just press those down and then I'll be ready to do my journaling. I am so happy to be back and to be trying to squeeze in some journaling time. We are starting to get more daylight, which is fantastic. Um, I do work at like a, a regular job, <laughs> so I, I don't have the time right now at home to record when there's daylight as I'm at work. Um, but in the next month, I believe I will be able to start doing that again, which I simply cannot wait. I'm really looking forward to. And uh, yeah, that's about it for, for this spread. I am so thankful for all of you. Thank you so much for joining me today and um, for joining me in my journaling. I wish you all to stay safe, stay healthy and uh, to have a really good day and really good week. I'll talk to you in my next video. Thank you. Thank you.